In this ukulele video, we're gonna go over the blue shuffle. This one though, is the advanced version. Hi, I'm Terry Carter. Welcome to Ukulele Pros. If you're into blues, ukulele tutorials, and even some ukulele reviews, this is a great channel for you. Make sure to subscribe and turn on that bell notification. So this is part three, really. This is blue shuffle variation, the advanced one, or variation three. Um, I did an easy version, and you wanna make sure you check that out if this is something that's totally new to you. I did an intermediate version, and you also wanna check that one out because this advanced version is gonna build upon what we did, not only in the easy version, but also that intermediate version as well. Let me play just a little bit of it, and then uh, we'll get into it. All right, so right off the bat, you can tell that it's a little bit more movement in the chords than the easy and the intermediate. Also, let me know, is this, is this like cool to you? Do you like the blues? I mean, I love the blues. Let me know uh, what you think of it or who some of your favorite blues artists are as well. All right, so it's gonna start right here on your A7 chord. And the pattern is gonna be like this. All right, so what I'm doing here is we're gonna start with the A7 chord. You're gonna do a down up strum, that's beat one, so down up. On beat two, you're gonna add, I use my third finger here, to the second string, second fret. If you wanna use your second finger, that's totally fine. I'm gonna do a down up on that, that's beat two. Then on beat three, I'm gonna use my, well, I'm gonna use my pinky on the second string, third fret, right? and I'm gonna do another down up. If you wanna use other fingerings for that, that's okay, as long as you're getting this. That's okay. All right, so that was beat three. Now on beat four, we go back to what we did on beat two, which is our finger on the second string, second fret, and you do another down up. So if I do that real slow, it's just gonna go like this. Right, and that's one measure, and you actually do it four times here for the A7. All right, so here we go. Let's give it a shot. One, two, three, and. Now we go to measures five and six. We go to the four chord, which in this case is the D7, let me play it for you. All right, so the D7, I play like this, with my second and my third finger. If you wanna use one and two, your fingers one and two, that's totally fine as well. I'm gonna do it though, using my second and third fingers. I'm gonna do a down up strum on beat one. On beat two, I'm gonna add my finger to the first string, second fret, and I use my pinky. I'm gonna do a down up. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slide my pinky up to the first string, third fret, do another down up on beat three, and then slide it back to the second fret on beat four and do another down up. So that pattern's gonna go. All right, so let's try it out. Remember, this D7 here on measures five and six, you only play it for Two times or two measures. Here we go. Ready and one more time. All right. Then what are we at? Measure seven and eight. It goes back to the A seven. You do exactly the same thing we did before, except you only do it for two measures. Here we go. Ready and. All right, now we're in bars nine through 12 of the 12 bar blues, so the last four measures. Let me play it for you. All right, this is by far the hardest part because you have so much movement going on, so much melody notes, and you have to switch chords every single measure. All right, so we start here on our, it's a regular E7 chord. 
You're gonna start with a down up on beat one. Then you're gonna reach that pinky out to the first string, fourth fret. You're gonna do a down up, this is beat two. And then here's where it gets a little tricky. Reach that pinky all the way out to the first string, fifth fret, yep, while keeping these fingers down. You do another down up, this is beat three. Then you're gonna slide it back to the fourth fret and do the same thing down up on beat four. So it's gonna sound like this. I know it's tough, but you gotta, you, you just gotta get it. You just gotta practice it and get it down. Okay, so here we go. Let's do that E7 one time. Ready, and. Now there's nothing new from here on out. Okay, so we go back to the D7. We're gonna do that one time, and. Back to our A7 chord, you're gonna do that one time. And then bar 12 is gonna do that E7 chord. You thought you were done with it, but no, you have to do it one more time here in measure 12. So it's ready and. Okay, so before we do the whole thing, let's just do those last four bars. E7, D7, A7, and E7. Ready and. Now, at that point, actually once you finish that E7 chord, you can either repeat the whole blues form again, or if you did what I did, is just end it on an A7. What I wanna do is I wanna go back to the top. I wanna do the whole 12 bar blues two times. I'll help you the first time a little bit, and then the second time through, I wanna attempt at least to keep my mouth shut and make sure you can use your ear and follow the music to when you switch the chords, and then we'll end on that A7 chord, okay? Here we go, from the top. Ready, and. And two. And three. One more time. To the D7. Back to A7. Seven, D seven, A seven, D seven. Now back to the beginning. I'm not going to say anything. Spice there at the end. So there you go, there's your blue shuffle. This is the advanced version. Now, there's tons of variations you can do on that. You can make it faster. You can actually combine different variations, but get these down. And when I say these, don't forget there's an easy version, there's an intermediate version, and this is the advanced version. What do you think? Are you cool with the blues? I love the blues. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for being here, and we'll see you next time.